Good morning all. Welcome to Bat Thrift Crazy. We are headed to a church sale this morning and I hope it's a good one because I got up this morning earlier than I get up to go to work every day and it's a Saturday morning. I could have slept in but I have high hopes for this sale as I do for all church sales. So I thought I would take you along with me while I go thrifting and then at the end of the video I'll show you everything that I picked up. So let's go ahead and get started. It starts at 7.30. Hey, we made it. Sure is a pretty morning out here. And we are a little bit early. So, it looks like we might have to wait outside for just a bit. I have my Ikea bag and some cash in hand, so I'm excited to see what we can find. And I'll do as much filming in here as I can. Okay, let's go to a church sale. I have been through round one, and now I'm going around for round two to see what I missed. Folks probably know what this is for. That's an old time how to measure hems when you're hemming a skirt. Hey, how are you? Ooh, look at this. Totally missed this. This is beautiful. Ooh, you might have to pop that into the bag. That's gorgeous. Yeah. I'm considering that for their Heidi. No, it's over there. The lamp on the table and the two stools. And I'm considering this for the booth. Also, that's pretty sturdy. Okay, let me bring this over. I'm, aren't they gorgeous? <laughs> I love them. One more thing from a pile. <laughs> There we go. Hope I didn't do that too quickly. Make the guys dizzy. Let's see what else we can find here. Oops. Oh, what is this? Oh, a garlic peeler. That's cool. Here's a little creamer. Oh, that's from Korea. For 25 cents, I might go ahead and pick this up. Yeah, I think we'll pick that up. Cutting boards, I have enough of those. Oh, they have an Instapot over there. The cheese crocs. This is pretty. Oh, I wonder if I didn't see this. Oh, there it is, sorry. There she is. Let's go see if she saw this. Excuse me. A twin. Okay. Yeah, don't have either one. I'm sorry. This is a queen too. Okay. I've given myself a oh. ten thousand villages being in England. So I'm gonna have to be You're gonna have to be, uh, be picky. I'm trying. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Stuff into my bag. Oh, my gosh, those are so awesome. What? Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I love them. I 
got to check this over, make sure it's okay. Oh. My shoulder's killing me. That's fine. No, that's fine. Oh, cool. Where did you get it from? I guess um, yeah, along here. Oh, yes, it is. Is that closed? Or maybe just closed. It look, might be closed in shoes. Not sure. I have to go over there, too. <laughs> thought about this bread maker, but I only brought so much money with me today. Excuse me. Oh, this would actually be pretty cool if we had that. This is cool. I'll clean that up. That's a cool. I think I might pick that up. The meat basket she just put up. All these candle holders, brass. I don't know. I haven't tried brass candle holders, so I don't know how they would do for me. that other room and see what we can find in there. If it's just shoes and clothes or if there's other things. So let's run down. Oh, what is this place here? Oh my, that's heavy. What does that say? Flor Floraline USA. That's really pretty. You're going to have to put that into the bag. Well, might I might be getting just went past my time. <laughs> I'm guilty. <laughs> Where's your bag? It's over there. Oh, okay. Get them. They've been here, so get them. All right. Let's go check out that other room. Lots of purses. I've been through these. shoes out here. Yeah. No, I was just going to see what was in here. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm going to wrap up the thrift with me portion of this video, so make sure to stay tuned, and I will show you everything that I picked up. Thanks for coming along. Well, I do hope you all enjoyed that uh, thrift with me. And now I'm going to share with you the things that I picked up at that church sale. One, or I should say two of the items are a shocker, a real shocker. And depending on which website you go to, it gets to be even more of a shock. I'll share that with you in just a second. Um, they were kind enough to have a free table there, two free tables actually. So I picked up a few things. Uh... Just got some of these dried flowers. They actually look like some sort of flower buds. These I'll be, be able to use for some kind of staging more into the fall time. And then I picked up these very, very deep pink, almost red dried flowers. And there's one more thing, maybe two down here. 
this I have sold these in the past and this is an old-fashioned key holder I will say uh, let's see it is Maltese cowhide whatever that is uh, doesn't say where it was made it's from Hickok H-I-C-K-O-K -K. Lewis don't eat the tags oh guess who's here <laughs> But anyway, I have sold these in the past, and I do remember using these in the past. And the other piece that I picked up from the free table was this pin. I just thought it was kind of unusual looking. And some, ooh, now that I look at it, it looks like a face, kind of. There's the nose, the eye, and there's its open mouth. <laughs> oh, and there is Diesel saying hello. And Lewis is right over here. So I'm gonna see if I can't get through this video without having to pick him up. Uh, vintage. Found this little vintage coin purse, 25 cents. I like the varying shades that are on here. It needs to be cleaned up just a little bit, so I will just you know snip off these little stray uh, threads that are on it, and you can put, oh, it's cracked inside. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, it's got some cracking inside right there. But I still think I'm going to put it out. I'll just price this for maybe 4 or $5 in the booth and see if anybody is interested in it. I had not noticed that cracking. Um, and I do have to clean this out for, because for some reason it's a little sticky on the inside. I'm not sure why. Then I found another wallet, $0.25, cents, pretty red color. Um, this is also a vintage piece. May not have ever been used because it does still have the little card inside of it. So you can put your pictures in there. You could probably even put your checkbook in there. And then here, oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah, no, Lois, give me that, no. Oh, leave that alone. He's trying to eat the, one of the tags. Okay, I can't get this open, but eventually this is going to open. It probably just has to be loosened up a little bit. Lois, buddy, you're gonna get sick, stop. Let me show this to you right next because this is the piece that he is after. Um, I know I said I had enough cutting boards and I was passing them, uh, but the second time I went around, uh, I did see this one. I passed on it the first time. L Lewis was licking it right there. Um, I decided to get it because what I'm gonna do is sand it off just a little bit and put some food safe sealant on it the reason I got it was because of the different wood grains that are in it. I just thought it was really, really pretty. It has browns and reds and tans and kind of cream colors. And you can hang this up. And I do have some cording that I can put in it to hang it up. But I thought it ended up just being a really pretty cutting board. And other than just, you know, doing the light sanding on it and putting that food safe um, sealant on it, I'm not going to do anything else to it. Let me get to this piece because for some reason Lewis is licking this as well. Um, and I have sold something like this, very similar, in my booth before. This is an Andrea by Sadiq uh, cake plate with the server. Look at how pretty this is. Springtime, summer, absolutely gorgeous in perfect, perfect condition and still in the box too. I'll put this back here. Uh, let's see. Let me show you this next. This lamp, believe it or not, was $3. It's rather heavy. I think it kind of has a mid-century modern look to it on, on the base. I don't believe this is brass. I think it's a, a metal that's been made to look like brass. It came with the shade. There was no light in it. Um, Oh, and I'm just looking, I'm noticing now that the housing that you put the light bulb in is actually cracked. But I think I can replace that pretty easily. And this whole lamp with the shade was only $3. So to replace that housing up there is not going to be a big deal. All right. This, I could not believe my luck on this. Brass ginger jar. And it is quite heavy. Um, take that off of here. 
there was a sticker on it. Let me see if I can see what it, the remnants of it say. Uh, oh, made. <laughs> That's all you can see now. It just says made, so it was made somewhere. My guess is this was probably made in India, but this is a gorgeous piece. Um, it's a little bit, you know, a little bit worn on the inside of it, and that's no big deal. And believe it or not, I only paid $4 for this piece. So this was an amazing find. Keeping with the brass, found this cute little brass uh, plant holder with these beautiful blue and not quite white, but close to it, ceramic handles. Now you're going to have to put something shallow in here. Um, like it couldn't be a tall pot. You might even just want to go ahead and pot straight into here with some kind of drainage on the bottom of it. Uh, this piece was $2. And if you're into brass, um, as you saw in the video, uh, Heidi joined me a little bit later and she cleaned up on the brass candlesticks. So uh, pop over to her channel if you like brass and see all the brass candlesticks that she picked up. She actually said she felt a little guilty getting them. And I said, no, don't, because they had been sitting there for a while and nobody was picking them up. So she took, you know, she picked them up and they're going to get new homes. This is another very cool piece uh, made in India, and it's a brass fish trinket dish. Really cool. Again, this is a nice, substantial piece of brass, nice and heavy. I did go ahead, like I said I was going to, and picked up this little creamer. <clears throat> this is from S something. What is this? Uh, I, I can scan crest, scan a crest, Korea. I can't make that really. I mean, I can see all the letters. I just don't kind of see how they go together. Uh, I don't know how this is going to do. I do have right now a bunch of creamers, these smaller ones in my booth. Sadly, haven't sold any of them yet, but maybe now that I put it out there into the universe, some of them will sell. Uh, but that's a really pretty one, I thought. And for what, 25 cents? I picked it up. You saw me show you this in the thrift with me. I think this is a gorgeous, gorgeous vase. I just love this piece. I love this kind of ribbed detailing that's on the top of it. Um, oh wait, and the, we saw the mark on the bottom. It says 407 Floral Line USA on the bottom of it there. Just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. And let me get a quick plant. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so pretty. So, so pretty. I am really glad I picked that up now. So I will go ahead and put this into my booth and I will put a plant in it, um, separate for sale. So if somebody doesn't want the plant, they can leave that. But wow, I really, really like that. This, I think I picked up after I stopped filming. It's this really, really pretty blue pitcher. Uh, oh wait, there is a mark on the bottom of it. Let me get those glasses again. And what does that, oh heavens to Betsy. I cannot make out. I cannot make out what that says on the bottom. Roco? R O maybe C C O? I can't make that out. I'm gonna show it to you guys. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. But I'll do a Google lens search on this uh, after the video and see if I can find out anything on it. Uh, but I picked it up primarily for the color because I thought it was just a really beautiful color and I paid two dollars for that. This I vacillated on back and forth. I wasn't sure if I should get them or not get them. Uh, it's a, a wooden rocking bunny. I don't know that I really care for this crackle kind of finish that is on him. So if I do decide to keep him and try and sell him, I'm I think I'm going to revamp him and do something to him. 
Um, maybe, oh, actually, maybe some transfers on that. A nice floral transfer would be cute on him. And uh, he was a dollar. And he does have some kind of sticker on the bottom of him. That Oh, it says uh, Easter Seals. I think someone just put that sticker on the bottom. I don't really think that it was, you know, it came with him originally. Could be wrong. I paid $1 for this. This is Spartina. 449. I don't know anything about this brand. I thought it was really cute. It kind of had like a nautical feel to it to me. And this originally retailed, believe it or not, for $59. Oh, from Hilton Head. Hilton Head Little Dub is, I guess, where this was sold at. Um, oh, yeah, this was brand new. Whoever paid $59 for this at Hilton Head never even used it. So, okay. Personally, I have never been to Hilton Head. Maybe one day I'll get there. Uh, let me put that there. Now, this piece I vacillated on a little bit. I picked it up primarily, well, it is a vintage bag, but the color, I thought this was just an amazing, amazing color on it. And wait till you see, when you look and open it up, its little change purse is just connected with that piece of string. Now, it, are there any tags in here there are no tags in, in it but look at how clean that bag is inside now the outside the problem is it is missing its chain but that's really not a problem I think if I'm not mistaken upstairs in what I call my resale room I think I have a chain that doesn't have a bag so I'll put the two of those together and it'll be a marriage made in heaven the next thing that I have to show you are these glasses. Picked them up for a couple of reasons. They looked very mid-century modern to me. Uh, the last initial M is, well, the initial is, is the initial of my last name. These do not have markings on the bottom, but I overheard, there are four of them. It's a set of four. I'll clean these up. These will go into the booth. I won't I won't keep them because I'm not that fancy. But uh, there was a gentleman there talking to somebody else. And I had seen them the first time like I went around. And I was a little bit, you know, should I get them? Should I not get them? They were $3 for the set of four of them. And then I was on the other side of the table and I heard a gentleman talking to, I think he was with the woman um, saying that the glasses were worth some money. I, I don't. I don't know because I haven't done any research on them, but I just decided to go ahead and get them. It's probably going to take a little while for them to sell in the booth because, you know, they're very specific and it's going to have to be somebody that is looking for M glasses. But I thought they were pretty cool. And I think if I'm not mistaken, that takes care of everything except for the piece, piece of resistance. <laughs> Found two of these footstools. I'm showing you the one. They are quite heavy. So it's the rattan footstool here with this, what I've learned is a forged metal uh, feet on them. A beautiful, beautiful condition. Oh, I paid $10 a piece for them. And while I was in the checkout lane, this woman um, uh, stopped me and she said, before you leave, I have to talk to you. And I thought, oh gosh, okay. <laughs> so I, I checked out and everything. And then she showed me her phone. She found those exact same footstools. I don't know what website she went to for, are you sitting down? $2,500 for the pair. $2,500 for the pair. Now, I was able to find that same website, and they had sold on that website for 24 no, I'm sorry, 25 It was $2,500. Now, I couldn't find them anywhere else for that kind of price. I did find them anywhere between, for one of them, 200 to, I think, 350 for just one of them. So what I'm considering doing with these uh, footstools is hooking up with a local consignment shop here, like a higher end consignment shop here in the Raleigh Durham area, and seeing if they would be interested in them. Uh, I think that I could do better with them in a place like that where people go, 
kind of expecting to pay more money for things rather than uh, at my booth uh, because there's no way that I would get anywhere, you know, close to two or three. 350 um, a piece for those in, in my booth. I just know that I wouldn't. And since I did find them, I'm, you know, I'd like to see if I can make a decent profit on them. So that was a, a pure shocker. My favorite of everything that I, oh my gosh, honestly, there are, there are so many things that I really, really like from this haul. Um, okay, the lamp is one of my favorite things, the footstools, but I really like the lamp. I really like the heavy brass ginger jar. And I think the little things, I love this vase, particularly now that I put some greenery in it. I really love this vase. So this might be my favorite uh, from everything that I picked up at that sale. So let me pick up this little thing here. Well, actually, he's not a little thing anymore. Lewis has gained a lot of weight. He's a big boy. He is a very big boy. Okay, can you say hello? Okay, he's going to chew on me. So that is it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed uh, the, the thrift with me and the haul. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let, there he is, and let everybody know what your favorite find was uh, from today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Okay. <laughs> and until next time, everyone, Lewis, please take very, very good care of yourselves. I'll see you later. Bye.